Hi there. Welcome to the fun play. So recently I have come across a game uh, Valorant which is an online first person shooter and during the practice I realized two things. One that it has been a long time since I played any FPS shooter. I mean it was horrible. I think last I played was Counter Strike almost a decade ago. More, probably more than that. And second it made me think that if there is some way by which I can quickly improve my aim. Now at this point one would say that you know I mean you should play more right but uh, having scientific aptitude as my second nature I thought maybe by some means if I could analyze my reaction time accuracy or even my biasness towards right and left we will go into that but before that uh, I have to say out loud if you are new here subscribe to my channel share this channel and of course if you like this video hit that like button it really supports and motivates me now getting back to the topic in hand so as i said i mean i was looking for it and came across an aim trainer called aim lab which was literally developed by two scientists and uh, so i looked into it and thought i would share with you guys the simulator was released in early 2018 by state space uh, it's an awesome simulator but uh, currently uh, it's in beta mode, so sometimes, very rarely though, you might encounter a bug which the community can report and of course these guys are working day and night to take care of it. Now I would recommend you to give it a try for mainly three reasons. First, it is free, I mean literally free, which is a major facet for its success. Second, it gives you a statistical analysis of your aim. And third, it can simulate most of the recent FPS games such as Valorant. If you have not Check my previous video, link is in the description. The link should come right up on the top that uh, how to install Valorant for free. And other than that, uh, PUBG, CSGO, Fortnite, I mean, all the major AAA games, FPS games, of course, uh, it can simulate. Stay tuned as we go into more detail to know what I mean by statistical analysis. To install AimLab, uh, you need a Steam app installed on your PC. And of course, you need a Steam account. Uh, once you have done that, you just search for AimLab and then install it. It will ask you to enter your credentials if you are here for the first time and then register it. And then select for an empty installation directory. And that's it. I mean, it downloads less than 2 GB of data and then requires an installation space of uh, about 3, 4 GBs, I guess. Uh, if you are wondering if you can run on your PC, the specs are on your screen right now. Although it shows minimum GP requirement as GTX 560 and Intel Core 2 s processor, but I suppose it can run on Intel onboard graphics as well, but with some tweaks in the settings. Since most of the FPS games require very low uh, GPU requirements. After initial registration, uh, you can dive into your aim practice specific to your game of choice. And as you can see, it has Apex Legends, Battlefield, COD, CSGO, Fortnite, Overwatch. I mean, there's a lot of games, even PUBG and Valorant. Uh, you can change these settings according to your system specs.
so what you can see is results where you can see oh accuracy is 92 scores so if you move forward and you can actually see time to kill is 654 milliseconds i think it's too long okay so in the advanced section you see that uh, accuracy is green and then so the greener part is better so if you see on the accuracy this uh, circle where you see accuracy on the upper right quadrant you see it's better there more green lower right is red so i don't know maybe there was no sample at all since it's saying not applicable and then the orange part is not so good and time to kill is um, everything is red so i think it's i'm still too slow and you can see the kills per second is 1.5 error size is almost 12 so if you go to insights right so here's the final verdict sort of thing okay so what are the strengths boom headshot snipe alert you're incredibly precise with your aim as indicated by your high precision score you have the ability to consistently land headshots in your game of choice if you choose to focus on doing so yeah, i will definitely focus on choosing that flick master congratulations compared to the rest of the population you're incredibly accurate in making flick movements to target this allows you to perform very well with slow rate of fire yeah i guess uh, i've i've played more with the pistol rather than a or, or a sniper rather than you know some machine gun or smg or something like that so all right so i guess uh, well there is some game still left so let's see the weakness so slow hand yeah your reaction time is well below average <laughs> if you are currently focused on improving accuracy though this is okay i guess my accuracy is not bad so i can start focusing on my time uh, otherwise play more speed more tasks such as spider shot relax speed or motion short speed i mean as you can see so that's the good part of this simulator that it also suggests that what more to practice so that you can improve on something so in my case i need to play speedier tasks such as spider shot for example of course the, initially this will lead to a drop in my accuracy and precision but i can still keep a track of it Uh, so the visualization uh, shows the region of your hand movement span where you are lacking in my case the reaction time is horribly slow in the lower regions more on the left well uh, partly because i am shooting lying on my bed uh, which restricts wrist movement to the lower left region i guess uh, i don't know maybe i'm really bad at the lower left side well i'll check this out later so the best thing is that you 
can't get this analysis of your shooting habits during a real game and uh, you know therefore you can't improve on it you need to know your mistakes to work on them uh you know Uh, the observation is also supported by next set of exercise called detection which showed left side elimination is weaker than that of right side so this detection ultimate showed my weakness is left side weakness you perform much better eliminating targets on your right than on your left we can fix this play more ai training which will account for this bias automatically or create your own custom task that presents target only on the left i think uh, i'll do that i'll practice more on this and let you know guys uh, share your thoughts on this in the comment section below let us all know if this helped in improving your aim and yeah i'll be happy to see your scores too stay tuned like subscribe share thanks for watching bye